All right, uh, let's look at the homework 2.2, problem number 10. All right, uh, I'm going to do uh, this problem using uh, a software called uh, GeoGebra. All right, so I'm going to open up uh, GeoGebra here. All right, then I'm going to uh, just type in the function. All right, so I'm going to put here, all right, f of x is equal to, all right, so you have uh, x cubed. Uh, minus 1.6 x squared and minus 0 0.95 x plus 1.45 and I hit enter. All right, so let's see, I'm going to just uh, make this part a little bit larger so you can see the um, entire function here, right? And here, uh, we already have a graph for drawing here. And uh, if you don't like the way it looks, we can kind of change it right here. All right. Then uh, uh, we can actually find a derivative, too. If you put the f prime of x and uh, hit enter. All right. So it gives you the derivative as well. All right. So this is the, the red one is the derivative. And we are looking for where the, it has the uh, horizontal tangent line. So you can see that uh, the derivative, which the red one, becomes 0, which is the x-intercept here. And we want to find that x-intercept there. All right. So what we can do is uh, we can uh, kind of find it geometrically. All right. So we're going to look for, so I'm going to go down here and look for uh, here. This is called the intersect function. So intersect. So we want to intersect uh, this um, uh, derivative curve with the uh, x-axis. So x-axis. All right. So we found uh, those two, uh, you know, two values, uh, two points. Sorry, and we we got those two um, x-intercepts there. All right. And you can see that though we only see. Um, uh, you know, the two decimal places. So we can just go to option and the rounding and we would like to see three decimal places. All right. So we have that. All right. Then what we need to do is uh, we need to find the uh, corresponding Y values. And uh, there are a couple of uh, ways to do it, I guess. Um, uh, let's do a, a easy one. So you, you know to find the... Um, uh, point. So we're looking at the point here, and we're looking at the point there. So all we have to do is what we want. We want to go all the, you know, go straight up, right? So uh, we can just uh, simply uh, draw a vertical line, all right? Then go to uh, go here. Right? I'm gonna just look at the parallel line here, right? I'm gonna pick a point, which is that one. And then draw a vertical line, so a perpendicular, uh, parallel to a uh, y-axis. Right? We have that. And then uh, we do the same thing, uh, this point, and to uh, y-axis. Right? Then we can just look for the intersection here. So intersection between this original curve and this vertical line. Right? And then original curve and then vertical line. All right, so we got these points. Uh, so you have a zero, uh, zero a negative 0 0.242 and 1.572. All right, so those are the points. So let's uh, type those guys in. All right, so I'm going to just, uh, uh, let's see, move over. All right. All right. So the points we found was um, a negative 0 0.242, comma, 1.572. And the second point we found is 1.309, comma, negative. Z uh, negative uh, 0 0.292. All right. All right, let's check the answer. 
All right, I came back and looks like we got uh, both of these points correctly. All right, uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.